Uh, let's try this again. Okay, so uh, apparently uh, my phone has too much stuff on it. So they keep making videos and they keep deleting them. I don't know what's going on, but try this again. The big surprise, guys. I made an incubator. So it's just an old cooler, freezer, refrigerator deal I got from the gas station they're throwing out. It's pretty much a mini fridge with a glass window. Uh, the glare on it's pretty bad, but... Yeah, you can kind of kind of see the eggs in there. We got one, one right there. Just started pipping. I don't know, about five ten minutes ago. So he'll hatch out probably tonight. And dun dun dun, the four successful hit. Yeah, can't even talk right. The four successful hatches that we had so far. So four little babies, the mamas are Arikanas and the daddy is a Polish, one of the Mohawk twins, the nicer one, which is not very nice anymore, but man, those mice are noisy. Yeah, so we, uh, <coughs> we're in the business of trying to raise some mice too, and a bad thing about mice is they like playing on the wheels, but when you have one, two, uh, Where's the other one go? One, two, oh yeah, three and four. One, two, three, four wheels. Mice are nocturnal for the most part. And all four of those tires, oh, I mean, wheels. They're all going off all night long. These guys actually had some babies, which is what we're going for. Some little guys in there. Open it up for you. Here's a little guy. Big old mama and daddy. There's actually, uh, <laughs> they're so fast. There's nine of them in there. Nine little guys. Nine little babies. I'm just starting to get used to me. Hey, little guy. Yeah, I got your tail. <laughs> My phone is not. Doesn't like that pink for some reason. It won't focus. But yeah, we're successful with my homemade incubator, guys. It's pretty cool. So I kind of, I'm still on the works. Uh, so it's got two ink, uh, turners in it. But the way I designed it and made it, I can't get to the bottom turner. And I already put the eggs in it and did my test runs and stuff. And, I don't know. I just wasn't thinking when it come down to it I can't get to the bottom without pulling the top rack off and you can't pull the top rack off because I have All the wires taped together down there going out the back to keep everything organized And it kind of screwed me in the end so I gotta figure that out So I'm letting all these eggs run through we've got a couple guinea eggs some turkey eggs um, and The rest of the chicken eggs and then once those all go through, we hatch what's going to hatch and whatever, you know. Um, then I'm going to pull it all apart and figure a different configuration out. So that way I can use both turners. Because there's no sense in having two turners when you can only use one. So, yeah, i got to come up with something different. So, but These little guys, yes, I have them in a fish tank. It's, it's what I had at the moment. But they seem to be liking it. So we had... One, two, one hatched right away, and then we had another one hatched like later on that night, and then on the third day another one hatched, and then like two more days another one hatched, and I kind of, I was putting eggs in just as they were going, so we're like every day or every other day I was putting eggs in it, so it's kind of just randomly, uh, Pulling eggs out, it's a lot of memorizing because I got different numbers and everything. And there's turkey eggs, which are 28 days, there's chicken eggs, which are only 21 days. Got to pull them out off the turners three days before they hatch. So for the chickens, it's three days before 21, and three days before 25 for the turkeys, or 28, or whatever. I mean, I got it all wrote down, and all these different numbers on all these eggs are all the different dates that they're put in, and then I got a yeah, it's, it's a big ol' hassle, so 
yeah, from now on, I'm going to figure something else out. So, got to make it more convenient and efficient. So, probably get some hatching eggs and put a couple dozen in at once so they're all at the same time. So, they all hatch on the same day. Because what I'm noticing is when these guys hatch, they get to the this big. And they're going to probably kill any other baby that gets in here that's small. So, they'll pick on them and be mean to them. So... Gotta make sure we do something about that. Looks like that one of the guys got some poop bound up on his butt on. Check him out here after I'm done. So yeah, successful guys. And it uh, wasn't very hard. I took just a uh, incubator, an old one that I had. Uh, it was just like a tractor supply special, one of the old cheap ones, the still air incubators. Um, I took the heating element and everything out of that. Um, the box got shredded by one of the cats trying to get into it to eat the chickens one time years ago So it had been just sitting there in pieces. So tore the heating element out put it all in here on a Zoomed reptile thermostat It's got set for 99 and then I've got a few different Things so I can tell this is set on Celsius guys that dog stepped on it. I can't figure out how to put it back, but I just I just did it so but yeah so it's all there's a fan in there for circulation a little computer fan that i rigged up on a cell phone charger uh charger i guess i wired up put that in there with the heating element from the incubator and yeah it works there's proof it works guys so i'm gonna see uh after it's all said and done i'll show you guys what all we hatched out of it so far we've hatched four successful ones I threw out a goose egg because it, it wasn't fertile. Uh, I'd been in there over its 28 days, 30 days. I think it was like on 35 days or something. So I, I candled it again and there was nothing going on. It was still just a yolk. So hopefully the geese are one sitting on 17 eggs and one sitting on 12. So hopefully they'll hatch something out by themselves because I was not successful. So. I don't know if it was just bad egg or I got it kind of early. They were laying them in the yard and in the water and stuff, so that could have had something to do with it. I don't really know. So, but yeah, more of information uh, in this one, I guess. Uh, I mean, baby chickens. So that's nice. So, hey, you guys go, Starmy. How about the girl? Can give you guys a video of the dogs. Hey, Fiona. She's like, yeah, right. You stormy storm. Thor. Oh, yeah, I knew you'd come out, huh? Oh, no, I didn't fall alone. Hi, bud. Let me do a bullhead. Can you smile for me? Can you smile? Can you smile for everybody? Hey, no. Can you smile? Can you smile for me? No? No smiles? No, just touch me, Dad. Just love me, Dad. Just love me. I just want to be touched. I just want to be touched, huh? Yeah. Hey, stormy. Love me, stormy, stormy. All right, guys, if you haven't liked, subscribe, please do. Uh, host me out. I like, I like it. I like it when I get new subscribers and all that good stuff. It makes me feel good. Like someone's actually doing something right, I guess. But, yeah, if you guys haven't liked, subscribe, please do. And uh, I'll catch you in the next one. All right, later, guys.